Okay, Bruno, Bruno, you want to talk baseball? Baseball and the Boston Red Sox are hot. It's your year, Bruno. It's your year. Hey, it's Big Daddy. This is this is uh, something people want me to talk random topics occasionally, Bruno. So this is my idea. It's the Random Chat Live with Big Daddy. And guess what? It's going to be random. This is just a little teaser commercial. But if you want to talk about your Boston Red Sox, let's do it. We can get a little crazy. A little crazy talk, maybe. And uh, as always, no nudity, please. Keep your shirt on, unless you're me. I can take my shirt off because I'm a guy. Guys can do that stuff. Uh, Bruno, what's happening? I tried to get uh, Kevin Sockwell. Hey, Matthew, if you want to come live, send me. A, uh, this is just a quick commercial for a new random chat live. Hey, Greg. What's up, Greg? Uh, Matthew, hello. Uh, Bruno. You want to come live? I tried to get Kevin Sockwell on. And you know what he told me? You know what he told me? He said uh, he's already in bed. So he's working hard on his show, The Grind. Bruno, you said he's got his T-shirts ready. So I said, hey, where the hell's my T-shirt? And boom, he was like, Big Daddy, send me your information. And guess what? I sent him the information. There's the graphic. The internet show, The Grind, The Biker Build-Off. It's our friend Kevin from down in Texas. I get more people from Texas that come on my show. Shout out to Texas. Thank you, Texas. So what are you guys doing? Hello from Florida. What's happening? What's happening? I'm telling you, we're coast to coast. This is crazy. We're giving it six more months. We're going to see if we can develop shows that people actually dig and share. We have a new, that's right, that. Jesus, that's right, Bruno. Boom. It's like you're reading my mind. Bruno's reading my mind. He just went boom and check it out. Uh, we're getting good at these graphics, Bruno. We're getting good. If you guys haven't heard about The Grind, check it out. We share his show all the time. It's Kevin. He's building bikes. He takes bikes. Um, he takes bikes that look like this. And um, he turns them in. Two bikes that look like this. Let me, uh, okay. All right, I, I won't lie. The timing on that one kind of sucked. He takes bikes that looks look like this. Now I see why I'm not working. I got to get rid of the boom. Great. Let me get rid of the boom. I was wondering why that graphic didn't go up there quick. Anyway, he takes bikes that look like that old uh, dusty piece of metal, scrap metal, and, uh, you know, somehow they do their thing and the bikes end up looking like this. It's pretty cool. So if you haven't heard about the show, it's it's a regular dude in a regular garage using cheap tools from Harbor Freight versus the bike professionals. Um, Kevin's playing the role of uh, Average Joe, and he's up against uh, some pretty uh, some pretty hot bike builders. But check it out. It's called The Grind. Again, we put links. We'll put links to The Grind down below. And, uh, yeah, I tried to get him on the show. Hashtag boom. And hello from Florida. What's happening, Greg? And he's in bed already. So, but that's okay because I'm trying to get a couple uh, different ideas for shows. This is mine. It's sort of like um, this one will be our crazy show. This will be our crazy show. I've decided. Because it'll be random. You know, you guys know what happens when random happens. And the hell with it. So we're going to try this. It's uh, the Big Daddy Road Show. And it's Random Chat Live. So if you have anything to say, send me a link. We'll get you live on this little sample show that I'm going to put up on YouTube. If you wouldn't mind hitting us up on the website, BigDaddyRoadShow.com. If you have anybody interesting you think that uh, would like to talk to Big Daddy Live, um, please get them on that page and have them send me an email, which is very simple. It's just like that website, Big Daddy at Big Daddy Roadshow.com. So this is a random chat live where I'll either babble with myself, talking to you guys down below in the chat. Like right now, Bruno's saying the grind biker build off first of its kind on Facebook. I would think it's the first of its kind anywhere. Isn't it Bruno? You want, you want to talk bikes? 
send the link. All right. Did you send me a message, Bruno? That would help me tremendously. I will send you the link. Cool. And uh, Bruno will be on the inaugural uh, random chat live on the Big Daddy Road Show. Let's see. See if anybody else wants to come live. Oh, wow. My friend Dominic's out. My friend Dominic works in the garage, too. He always goes and eats his dinner really late. You should see what he's eating. Okay, Bruno, we're trying to open up the messages. It's kind of slow tonight. Hey, buddy's in the studio tonight. What's up, buddy? Come on, you want to come up here? Come on, up, up. Come on, up, up. Can you go? Oh, ow. <clears throat> Gotta let the claws. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. We're waiting on Bruno. Okay, there. Okay. Watch out. Okay. Gotta break. Gotta love the animals, Bruno. Okay, Lake's headed your way, and uh, we'll see if we can get you live. How's your Wi-Fi doing tonight? We're about to find out. So, I have a couple topics I'd like to talk about. We'll wait for Bruno. We'll get this party started. And uh, we're going to talk, uh, well, I guess we're going to talk motorcycles. Let's see. If you haven't ever been on the show, it's kind of simple. 95% of the phones, cell phones out there can link up with this software, BeLive TV. And all you got to do is request a link, click that link, you download the software. And then I think the best thing to do is shut out, shut the software down, and then click on the link I sent you originally, I think. But most people have no trouble whatsoever. This is a random chat live, Big Daddy Road Show. Um, you know, open mic, open open topic situation here. So if you're in the chat, how about hooking us up with some topics? I want to keep talking about the CBD oil. I'm really, I don't know, I was just at the therapist today. And between his electric whatever stimulus, I never did that. What the hell is that called? When they put the uh, patches on your back and jap and uh, zap you, I said jap you. When they zap you with electricity. Anyway, we're waiting on Bruno. If he doesn't come live, we're just here to tell you that this is a new, a new. Hey, Alex, what's going on? You want to come live? I'll send you a link. This is a new random chat live show, uh, Alex. It's perfect for you because this is going to be, you know, this will be the show where we can get a little nutty. And you're nutty. Bruno, I think you're trying. I hope my software is working for you. Um, we're going to only ask that you don't have nudity. Um, and you bring some interesting conversation. Pick your topic. Let's do it. And let's not get too raunchy. Remember, we got to be able to share the shows. So just remember that. If you're on Twitter, uh, hashtag BDRS. If you, uh, oh, here's Captain Space Pants, who was torturing me horribly earlier. You're live, Captain Space Pants. Say something, Captain Space Pants. Nothing. 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 All right. All right. So we're waiting on Bruno. We sent him the link. I think I sent him the link. I wonder if there's something going on with Facebook. Maybe there's something wrong with Bruno. Anyway, you know how I said, too, I would try to bring you some value. Here's some value for you. Uh, I see Bruno setting up in the back office. Really quick. Wow, that's weird. Looks like Bruno's in bed, too. Kevin Sockwell's in bed in Texas. All right, thumbs up. We're going live with Bruno. Hashtag Uncle Bruno. I'm not What's up, bed. Uncle you're not in bed? No, I'm sitting in my living room. All right. Well, you don't have to get like that. Jeez. <laughs> How you doing, Bruno? I'm doing good. How about so. that Kevin Stockwell in Texas? He says, uh, you know, you posted about his cool T-shirts, which they are really cool looking T-shirts. Well, and uh, the story on that goes is that, uh, you know, Dave Basala. 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 Dave's dick. We went to him. I got him some artwork, and yeah. uh, he set everything up, and uh, I donated a few bucks there. And uh, I'll we tell got you the what, shirt you're going. you're an amazing guy. You you've helped me with my coffee maker. Look at I'm drinking. I'm still drinking from that coffee maker. 
Cool. Boom. Yeah. It's nice how you always try to support these internet shows. One of these shows is going to stick. I don't know if it's going to be mine, but one of them is going to stick, Bruno. You're going to, you know, um, I'm going to give it six months. I have some, uh, I'm reaching out to a couple different people. You know, Paul's hooking me up with a new background. Yeah. Um, we're working on the microphones. I'm in connections now with the owner of this software. I'm looking at other software. And I'm going to give it six more months. And I have my friends from Texas going to come on the show. I got, of course, the Rockers coming on the show. I'm trying to, hey, Bruno, are you into rap? Do you ever listen to rap? I'm not into rap. You're not into rap. All right. Well, let's, then I won't talk about that with you. But I like some rap. I don't know if you ever noticed I have Biggie Smalls behind me sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you can't see it now because you're on the screen with me. But, yeah, I'm into some rap. Some rap, I think, is just... You know, if it's all about the gangs and shooting each other and, you know, <laughs> F-bomb yeah. in every two seconds, yeah, then the I pass. Yeah. F-bomb and the N-word, and I'm not into that. Right, the N-word. You yeah. know that the N-word was trending today on Twitter? N-word? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, hashtag N-word. Right. Amorosa, yeah. set it on fire. Nagasaki. <laughs> Nagasaki's the word. I, I said to my daughter, what's what's with the N word? And is that what it was? Amor that Amoroso or Amorosa? Yeah, she's trying to sell her book. Yeah. Did she did she, she actually release that, anything? Yeah, she she said Trump used the N word during uh one of the filmings of uh the uh you fired there, the show, whatever it was. Apprentice. Oh, the show you're fired? When yeah, he said you're fired. Yep. Yep. And you're saying that she's claiming it's hearsay because we haven't yep. hear, heard it, right? Correct. Ooh, you know what that means? Ian and Matthew are going to be going nuts in the chat. <laughs> Woo, they love Trump. <laughs> yeah, so I don't even know. Uh, so she had something to do with The Apprentice, it was called, right? The Apprentice? Yeah, yeah she, was, uh, yeah. she was either one of the winners or she was a runner-up or something, and she ended up getting a job with him. Yeah, you wouldn't think it, but I do my I do my internet news searches now because it turns out that news and politics is making people go crazy on the Big Daddy Roadshow group page. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's talk politics. Here's my beef with that already. If she had that, if she had that tape, right? Yeah. Why would she hold on to it to sell a book one day? Right. Why would listen to Buddy? He, I had a bag of chips that's empty, and if you can hear that in the background, that's Buddy trying to get the last little piece of the chips. He's stolen off the table. Anyway, yeah, what do you think of that that girl? To me, she sounds like she's a little bit of an opportunist Hollywood type. Let's sell a book. Fifteen minutes of fame. That's all she is. Alex Sarita says it was electro stimulation. I think you spelled that wrong, Alex, but that's cool. Uh, is what they put on your back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He spells lots of words wrong. You're. You are. <laughs> it's shorthand with Alex Doritas. How about <laughs> how about your boys uh, up in uh, New York with the Italian street party? Did you see that live video? Yeah, yeah. Vinny Dyson, Big Time Tommy, and uh, the It Crew. Yeah, how do the people – make sure you put that – make sure you put that in our link, too, because that's what us small internet shows have to do. we got a network. I cannot get with Freddie the Fireman. He is somehow not get. Not getting my tweets, not getting my messages. I'll, Bruno, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have a conversation with them. You got to call Freddie the Fireman. And uh, just the only one that I'm a little bit worried about on that show is the guy with the weird colored beard. <laughs> Chicken Man. Chicken Man. <laughs> Everybody else I'm down with. Chicken Man would drive me crazy. I'd have to have the I'd have to have the volume switch on the soundboard with a big highlighted Chicken Man. Exactly. Exactly. And it's not like I don't like him. He's still cool, but he's just like yeah, he, he just he gets he gets he's he gets all over the place. tangent. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh so this is my idea for a random chat live. So because you know, sometimes I'm in the mood to go live. So if I call the show random chat live, well yeah. uh I don't have to worry about what time I'm going live. That's right. That's crazy, right? It is. Yeah, I know. It's a good idea. I was sitting here going, every once in a while, I get a good idea. Boom. <laughs> Hashtag boom. And I called Sockwell right before because uh, he was on my page commenting on some of our comments. Yeah. And I said, Sockwell, come live already. What's with this whole biker build-off thing? But he gets up early. When I'm going to bed, he, he works, he's getting yeah, up. He, exactly. He, he has a full-time job, and he does the bike seats, and he's building a bike. He put himself in a, in a tough, tough bind. So, but he's moving along with the bike. So, 
Yeah, I actually have samples of his bike seats. So here's a yep. plug for his work. And uh, he's known all over the country for his leather works, right? Uh, absolutely. Matter of fact, my next my next bike I get, I'm gonna have a custom seat made for him from him. So yeah, I seen one because I'm into poker. I seen one where he made one with the ace of spades on it. it was really cool. Yep. But yeah, folks, go to see Kevin's page. It's really cool, especially if you're into. Uh, I think he'll do anything leather. He'll make a. He's made leather belts for uh, Motley Crue and. Yeah, you know. yeah, he's a good. He he very very talented in leather work. Okay, so. excuse me one second, Bruno. I'm going to try to get my disobedient dog to behave. One second, he's about to uh, make me lose my shit live on the new random talk show. Hey, buddy, how about chilling out down there? Yeah, buddy doesn't care. He's not going to, he's not going to be able get over here. So Buddy, buddy's the least trained dog on the planet folks. Next. So next week or, the, or sometime this, uh, this week or next week, we should start seeing uh, Dave, the other, the other, the, the professional guy that he's up, up against. Cause those guys were all in uh, Sturgis. So Kevin didn't make Sturgis this year, but uh, the the guy that he's uh, versus, he's going to be. There should be some live shots from his shop coming up too, so it should be pretty interesting to see what's going on. Yeah, and it is. It, you know what? It's immediately made me believe. Remember how I said I'd, I'd like to make a trike, like from back in the seventies, late seventies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. After watching him just just mess around with that gas tank, remember gas tank wars? Yep. Hashtag yep. gas tank wars. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is amazing how much work goes into them bikes. I'm going to tell you a quick story. Um, bikers against bullies, right? I don't know if you followed any of that. I've been sending you some. I, I thought I've been sending you. Some no, I don't stuff. think anything okay. with bullies. You know, I would probably watch that. Right, so yeah. then I guess I didn't. So let, let me tell you a story. There's a guy, Jim Fowler, and a couple, you know, a bunch of guys from Virginia, different areas of the country. Well, they every year they put together a ride and they go to Sturgis. So this year um, they took a ride and in Oklahoma they had stopped for an overnight. And what they do is they go to different states and they go to these schools and they go to the kids and, and they're basically, um, you know, they inspire these kids to, you know, to basically not stand up to the bullies but give these guys some give these kids that have been bullied some self-esteem so that they can you know be stronger and stuff at any rate one of the gentleman's bike got stolen so they went to facebook and they ended up eventually finding the bike it was it was in a few disarray parts but they got the bike back there was a couple of facebook friends that just met these people that were lived in oklahoma went to the police went and got the, the spike discharged, drove the bike parts to some other location heading to Sturgis to some guy's shop. And they spent like 24 hours putting the bike back together so they could make the rest of the ride to Sturgis. So that's, that's the biker brotherhood. Yeah, that's a cool story. And, so, and, and they, but their whole thing is going around and educating people on educate, bullying. And, exactly. And they, they go around and inspire, they go around and inspire children. You know what I mean? And, and, and it, it's bikers against bullies. W we'll put the link down www.bikersagainstbulliesusa.com. Yeah. And because Kevin Sockwell is sleeping, I do have a picture of Kevin. Here he is. We all, he's cool. He's a cool guy. He's, he's a, a good cool shit. guy. He definitely is a good and, shit. And uh, he's, uh, they got really cool banners that are going to go. I like the whole, uh, you know, I wish guys like him and me had the budgets to do the show the way we want to in our right. head. Because doing this internet stuff is frustrating. Uh, if I had the crew, it would be on. But yeah. um, this guy's got good ideas with the banners and how the banners will keep going to the next competitors and they'll right. sign them. And then they're going right. to raise money for charity. Exactly. And there's going to be, you know, the, the, there'll be uh, the next the next set of bikers. There'll be a different shirt with the whoever the two, you know, whoever the two opponents are. It's going to be cool. These are going to be limited shirts. So, yeah, every time they have a new show, th it'll be a whole new grind shirt. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's correct. pretty cool. And you say our boy Dave Basala. Yep. Hashtag Dave's dick. Got to get he's, that hashtag he, in there. He's, he's, he, he set me up. Um, you know, he's a guy us. who sells everything. He's the only guy that's made money with the Big Daddy Roadshow. I guarantee. No, that's not true. There's other people that have capitalized on this show. They Listen, I brought people together dating on this show. I brought people business connections on this show. 
I've helped people grow their audience on this show. And me, I had four patrons and no, I had five patrons and lost one the other night. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I think the credit card was declined or something. Son of a bitch. Anyway, it's no big deal. We are going to go six months. I'm going to drive hard. And if the worst case scenario, I'm just going to give up on the whole video thing and just go back to my good old fashioned microphone. I don't really have, I have a face for radio anyway. So if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah. But I was all bummed when Kevin couldn't come live because I was going to put up pictures of Evil Knievel and that Harley Davidson. But we'll save that for the next we'll time. Get, we'll, you'll get him up. You'll do a random show. You'll get him up there. So Yeah. So um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the movies. You ever watch the movies? You in the movies, Bruno? I, I catch a few here and there. Basically more on uh, Netflix or just basically on demand. I'm not really a movie theater goer. Yeah, I get my movies from Netflix. I get my movies from Amazon Prime. If you pay for that Prime with Amazon, you get Amazon yep. Video. Yep. So you get some series they produce. They're producing their own series, just like HBO now. Yep. Really great shows. Uh, but here's one. You know, Normally, I come on, and it's Big Daddy being nice, but I am going to slam a movie so hard. And the director is such a big name. I know you're going to know him. I don't know if you're a fan, but Woody Allen. Remember Woody? Yeah. He produced a movie called Wonder Wheel with um, Jim Belushi, John Belushi's brother, yeah. and Kate Winslet, you know, the girl that was all romantic and having sex in the bottom of the Titanic, and then she let Jack drown because she was a stone cold, well, I can't say that word, it's a hate word, it starts with a B, yeah. anyway, horrible movie, don't watch it, save yourself don't make popcorn and think that's your big night out watching Wonder Wheel. It's all set in uh, like the 40s, I think, um, Coney Island. The sets are cool. It's neat to look and see what Coney, because my parents would have actually been at Coney Island during those years. So it was cool to see what it might have looked like in the day. But the movie was a sleeper. Ugh. So that's my first horrible report for a movie. I told people I'm going to bring people more value on these shows. Don't watch that movie. That was horrible. And uh, so, and that way now when people say, oh, he only says nice things. Uh-uh. I'll slam a movie hard. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, yeah. So I went to the therapist today. They zapped me. What do they call that? It's not electrostimulation. I forget what they call those. You know, those things, those little boxes you can buy, you put the electrodes on your little patch. Yeah. What do they call those things? I thought I, I thought that was electrostimulation or something. Maybe he's right. I don't know. But the one they have at the therapist is really good. But, Bruno, you know I'm doing that CBD oil? Yeah. Let me tell you something. That's not marijuana. So before you go off that it's all a bunch of pot smoking weed, bunch of hipsters, that CBD oil, brother, is there's something to that. I'm telling you right now, tomorrow, if it's sunny, it hasn't been sunny in Pennsylvania in three and a half months. It's been exactly. nothing but rain. You're, you're, lucky, you're, you're lucky you live up in the mountains because the poor other bastards around there, man, but the flooding is ridiculous. Yeah. a lot. Well, down at the Bluesburg Fair, they always get flooded. Uh, a Knoebels Amusement Park, they're supposedly good. You know, there was people in our area. They just got flooded about a month and a half ago or so. Yeah. And it was shut down. These people will take the carousel, the old antique carousels apart. They put the horses away. It's a, It must be just three or four days of hell when this flooding happens. Today, the flooding wasn't bad in their area, but people were reporting that the flood was bad in the area. And the poor amusement park, which is very fair price, very family oriented. It's a beautiful piece of property in Pennsylvania. There's people telling people on the Internet that it's closed. And I'm like, that's... That's the internet for you. Talk about bullies. They got to even mess with amusement parks. Bunch of jerks. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So this is just, uh, oh, John is saying, yeah, he wouldn't even have been looking to watch that movie. Oh, a so, 10 unit. Thank you, John. See, my audience is smart and I have early dementia. It's called a 10s unit. Yeah. So um, you, know, you know, my other friends, the, uh, the it crew, they're up in the Poconos, John, Teddy, Gino Altunian and uh, Pasquale Teddy. They do no, the, these are the guys we call the if we got to get they a thing. The, uh, you know, you, 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 you know, we can't talk about that live. Right, right. not on the air. Okay. 
So. No, I don't know. You have friends that we're in the southern tip of the Poconos. We're like yeah, right now. You got. I'll have to next time they're on. I'll definitely. I'll, I'll have to. I'll link you up because. Yeah. Those so what's your are, story? No, give them a plug. Give Go ahead. Their music. Their, their, their music. We could probably try to get them on because they are. They've done. They've. They're producing some songs, and uh, one of them's uh, the Brooklyn Man, and um, and then they they're going to be supposedly doing a movie, The Neighborhood. So. Uh, there's some stuff happening in your area and they've been back and forth to New York city. They, they, they drive almost on a daily basis back and forth, but they just did a great thing. They just met one of their super fans at the uh, casino there up in the Poconos. And this guy has got cancer and he's in a wheelchair bound and they, they brought him in and they're actually donating money from the their music, that song, you know, on iTunes, they're donating money to this kid's cause and to charity. One more time. What's the name of the band? The, it's, it's called the uh, it crew, I T crew. So it crew, people can probably look for them on Facebook and yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. You know, uh, we have a guy, um, a friend of mine locally here named Pat, <clears throat> she has, she, you know, people are starting to say, the one thing I can tell you is we have the viewers. We have people watching coast to coast. We have my podcast still being listened to by a ton of people. And now people are finally starting to send me uh, suggestions, which is, that's what I need. I need cool people. Like if you run into cool people, get them on my show. We we'll put them on for 10 or 15 minutes. If they rock, we'll do a whole show with them. But um I have a young girl named Stephanie Taylor. Well, actually, she, well, I, I'm going to say Stephanie Taylor. She said that, um, I guess she was going by her maiden name, but uh, she's going to come on and talk about uh, like service dogs, service animals. There's three different kinds. So she's coming on the show. She's from Texas. And then Pat suggested a young guy. You're talking about pretty much all these things with the bikers doing good things. There's this young guy named River Lewis that reached out to me yesterday and today. And we're going to have a little pre-interview and then he's going to come on and he just graduated college, I believe, or he's in college and he's down in Atlanta, Georgia, doing things with young kids that are from the city that maybe, you know, they don't have the best role models and he's taking them to camp and he's trying to teach them, you know, give them, give them uh, better angles to take in life as to, as opposed to just being, you know, a street kid and, try to give him direction and it's like he's been having such good results that pat said tom he, you really got to interview this young kid he's really doing something cool so yeah this is the kind of thing you know me i want to listen i'll talk about aliens i'll talk about anything on the show but i'm so sick of the negative um but um oh john is saying he's on a generator he's on generator power in uh he's in a town called shepton pa Wow. I didn't even think that was Lowlands. Is Shepton PA low, John? And uh, I'm going to ask John if I could announce. John is a writer. He used to write sports columns for hockey and specifically for some big hockey players. And uh, he's been having health issues, but I'll tell you what, he's a good writer. And I've invited him to write some articles on the Big Daddy Roadshow group page or, and Facebook page, excuse me, my website page. Because yeah. I got to get that site's doing really good with hits and I'm going to try and put some affiliate links on there so that maybe I could, you know, like I said, I just want, I, everybody thinks I want to get rich, which speaking of rich, and since this is an open mic conversation, Bruno, did, what's that FBI's get, FBI guy's name that was just before Congress and just got fired? Let's really fire up that topic too. What was his name? It starts with an S. And I can't remember how to say it. Is it? It's not Skocheck or something stick, like that. Stick, stick well, stick something. Uh, stick was, something. Anybody? Yeah. Everybody knows it. he's the guy that was like supposedly talking shit about Trump with another FBI agent who he just happened to be sleeping with. Apparently, allegedly, they were doing the boom boom, and he was on company time on the company dime saying in a conversation that Trump would never be elected president and that he would see to it as an FBI person. But then he went before Congress and he said, well, I wasn't really, you know, I, I didn't take that seriously in my FBI job. I was just kind of kidding with my girl, my friend, my friend who was a girl that, you know, that I was allegedly having, you know, relations with. So he got canned. They canned him. Yeah. 
So now everybody on the left is like, oh, that's a witch hunt. Trump is just getting rid of all these FBI people. And I'm like, if anybody's seen his interview before Congress, he was the most disrespectful, smug, cocky. The faces he was, it was, he may as well have done this to Congress. He may as well just come out like that. Like, I, hey, you can't beat us. We're the intelligence agency. Right now, I think I'd rather have Ebola than have anything to do with the FBI. <laughs> FBI is not a, which by the way, this is just a talk show and our five pound opinions, folks, mean nothing. So more power to the FBI. I hope it works out for you. But that guy was a dick. And I'm kind of glad that they shit canned him. And it was the FBI boss that shit canned him, not Trump. Right. So anyway, oh, here's John. There's my this. Here's my writer friend. He's right on. He's right on the money with the name Peter. I have no idea how to say that. Strozik, Stroke, Strack. I don't know. Back or something, Strozik. No. Anyway, but this is the killer part of the conversation. This is why I like these random open mic shows. They started a GoFundMe account for him. It's approaching to it's it's big money. And he's probably got paid, even though he got he's fired. probably going to have a quarter of a million dollars in that GoFundMe account. So, yeah. anyway, now he's saying Stoke, Stoke. Is that how you pronounce that, John? Anyway, thank God for John. Hey, John, you going to write for my site? John was talking about. It. He's like, you might have ignited a flame of writing. He's a really good writer. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so somebody set up – so the guy gets canned, and within 48 hours, he's got more money in a GoFundMe account than probably a salary. And here's why they're saying – here's why all the different shows are saying that they possibly did that. It's politics. We're coming up on the November elections. You know, things are starting to get crazy with the heated uh, political. So you're going to start to see all this stuff happening, and – even Alex Jones, we were talking about that. You were on vacation. What would you think about that guy getting canned on Google Everything. and Facebook? That's ridiculous. Freedom of what speech. What do you think That's it ridiculous. is? Ridiculous. Guys like Freddie the Fireman doing uh, his show. Guys like Kevin Sockwell doing right. his show. Me to, doing to my show. Down, right. We put in hundreds of hours a year. I mean hundreds to do these silly shows because they're not making any damn money. And then all of a sudden, if we say, like, I was afraid if I said Alex Jones, I might get canned. But really quick on that, and then you look tired, Berto. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I got to get up. Okay, so they canned Alex Jones, right? So now, who decided that? Some boardroom, a couple guys in the boardroom. And then, so who else are they going to stop Democrats. us from seeing? Democrats fired them. People that own, people that, you know, paying them. Right. So you think it's a advertisement thing? Absolutely. But here's my kicker. So who's next on their list? Is it anybody that Alex Jones goes on somebody else's show? Do they do they block their stuff on the internet? And when I say block, I mean they're erasing it. I bet they, you. I bet you. I bet you that. that I bet you that people are networks or, or or talk show hosts are afraid to bring them on. I, I, you know what I mean? Who knows? <laughs> Yeah, uh, what's his name? Um, Rogan, Joe Rogan from the Joe Rogan Experience. You could kind of see him dancing around the top. Around it. Correct. And, yeah. And he doesn't know which way to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, John says the GoFundMe has 250K plus. Wow. Within a couple days. So you know you, the moral of that story. You can't even get a dollar from the fate of fate. I can't even get four quarters. I can't even get for, and that's okay because I'll just go back to podcasting. That's all right. So I don't need this so, shit. So why can't why can't Jack read comments? He said Jack Neary, you know, te texted, you know, responded to me and said he couldn't read the comments. What's what are you doing? talking? What's he, do what's he doing wrong? The shot of Jack today, tonight. He said he couldn't read comments. Oh well, I, I have no idea because he's using Facebook software not to be live. I have no idea. Interesting. Um, yeah, it is all very. Listen, he we have people like John unless, unless, he, unless he swiped the wrong way and he has the screen, the full screen. Maybe I, I have to talk to him about that. I don't know. I was bugging him about his lighting. He got his lighting right to, on tonight's show. Yeah, yeah, I he told him much, how better, to fix much it. better lighting tonight. A little yeah. better lighting tonight. Yeah, a little yeah. better. He still needs yeah. a little more light. 
that was me. That was my, that was my opinion. And I told especially him how to with, fix it. Especially with the stash, you know? Exactly. You wanted, he was like a silhouette and <laughs> people want to see your face, you know? I thought he was, I thought he was na- the a- a- after there, whatever, and a- 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 after, whatever the hell, those people are wearing all the masks, you know, and then in the silhouettes. <laughs> what did you just call him? NAFTA? A- no, it's a- not NAFTA. It's a- Antifa. A- Antifa. 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 Look, I have early dementia, but you, if you're going to know you're <laughs> all late. left. It's late. Antifa is alt left, and then those tiki torch people, far right people, they're they're radicals on each end of the democratic, and you know, those Antifa fellas are they're interesting what, birds. What gets me is that what kind of you know these guys are all running around with masks and stuff. Okay, those are thugs. They're not fucking for a cause. You want to show your face, show your face. Yeah, but you're tough. Listen, dude. Let these me tell guys you are wearing I masks. Run the, I run into those guys. They'll be going for a boat ride. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm going to take, Alleged. take them fishing. I'm going to take them fishing. All right. Yeah, so it's, I, you're always out fishing. Yeah, I, I, you know, Big, I'm I'm a good guy. I, I, you know, I'm a very generous guy. I get them on the boat, we'll go fishing. Yeah, and I got friends in the concrete business. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, listen, don't you think in today's world that the world would actually be a lot smoother if those kind of things still happened? No offense, but I swear to God, these Antifa kids are, first of all, there's a big video going around the net where the one guy, this is true, John will get a crack, he'll crack up in the chat over this. One of the Antifa kids sucker punched a guy. So everybody's videotaping stuff today. Yeah. All these young kids got their masks on, which number one, you and me both agree. That's pussy factor number one. That's done. I'm not a big, listen, I, w- I am not a professional fighter. I'm not even a good fighter, but I'll let you know I'm in the fight. I'm not going to not be in the fight. Right. We but go. there are tons of guys tougher than me, right? There's always somebody tougher than you. But these guys that wear the masks, number one, they're not showing their identity. But if you have a mask on and you run up quick and punch somebody and run, dude, you're in the wrong business. You don't need to be playing tough guy. But get this, Bruno. I know he knocked him out. I saw it. He found out that, yeah, they knocked him flat. But guess what? It was a fellow Democrat. It wasn't a Republican. They thought it was a Republican they were beating up on. So these people on both sides of the fringe politics are batshit crazy. They're nuts. And everybody else in the middle is like, settle down. Just settle down. What are you doing? I mean, on my boards last night, Ian and Matthew and John and this other Lou, I think it's Lou Diamond, they're all on on this whole debate, and they were getting on each other hardcore. And me, I'm just here sitting doing my CBD oil drops, and I'm all chill. I could care. i like, go ahead. I'm not getting in that deep. Let them have civil war. Let them all meet at Freedom Park right outside the Washington, D.C. area or right by the White, White House. Let them – have civil war too for all I give a shit, but leave us people in the middle alone. Right. Yep. You just want to, you just want to sell expensive houses on the lake and get on your boat. Leave us alone. We're older. <laughs> <That's the kitty. laughs> so, yeah, so this is uh, pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, John says he's from Jersey and people. Oh yeah. People have chum. Yeah. The, the, yes. it's, okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Take John is uh yeah, he's like they're putting the chum in the water. That's funny. I actually I was playing poker in Mississippi at the horseshoe. I think it was Mississippi. I'm pretty certain it's Mississippi. Um, it was called the Horseshoe Casino. Yeah, and what I had the I had the one guy Dominions, so pissed off. Dominions or something, Dominions Horseshoe or something, or yeah, Binions, Binions, Binions Horseshoe. It was, a, it was the it was the son's property in right. in. But I'm saying Mississippi, but I've been in a couple of states down there. I don't know. It was listen. It was cotton grown country. That's all I can tell you. And it's right by the river. And uh, anyway, I'm in a poker game down there, and they said that they would use me for trolling bait. The locals. They had they were, he, the guy was that pissed off at me for taking a big pot off him. He's like, we'll put we'll use you for trolling bait. It's sort of the same thing as chum off the coast of Atlantic right. city. But what's uh, your, what's yeah. your cat going to do? Fly up against the wall there. He's right on oh, the back. back the yeah. That's captain space pads. He's, he's not a, <laughs> wait a minute. He's on the chair. 
he's oh, he's on a chair? chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll see if I can get him. This guat drives me crazy. This cat will claw you in the back, and you won't even see it coming. And it's like, it's horrible. But uh, yeah, that's Captain Space Pants, and his mother's here. Her name is Pets from the movie Pet Cemetery. He had. She's the only female that's not fixed, and she's older. And I thought I didn't want to put her through the whole operation of getting fixed. And she's older. I thought, you know, all the other young cats aren't even going to want her. She's an old cat. She she got to doing the, the boom boom and she had a, a litter of one. That's this cat. So I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't give the cat up. And this cat is a psycho. Look at him. He's still back there. Oh, there he goes. And he <laughs> plays the freaking guitar. If I lay the guitar right, he actually goes up to the strings and pokes at the strings with his claws. It's at some point, we will hear it. He's actually there right now. Here, let me see if I can get him to do it in the background. Here. He likes to play the damn guitar. Let's see if we hear guitar sounds. But um, what else, John? Give us a last-minute topic here, and then we'll finish this up. This is a new show called The Random Chat Live, and it's as, it's exactly as it states, random. So, if Bruno, you want to talk about something, and I'm in the mood, we'll go live. If something big happens, we'll go live. We're still going to bring back Friday night uh, free for all because people like that show. Yeah. We're going to bring back real talk with big daddy six months, better guests. I am trying to get, I know you don't like rap, but bear with me on this. There is a kid. I'm going to say he's a kid, but he's actually a young man named Tom McDonald. And I'm making a prediction that this kid's going to be huge. And he's already huge. He's gotten a plaque from like, um, I guess Facebook for having more views. And you know, once you get like a hundred thousand views, you get like plaques from the companies and stuff. But Tom McDonald, was that the kid you ran into in the store? Well, help me out. Refresh you, my memory. You remember, you remember you ran into some kid in the store that was rapping and he was on, he was on a road trip or something going to places to play. Yeah. They never got to, with, they never got back to you. Okay. No, those were, those were some cool young, uh, uh, rappers that were going to New Jersey from Florida. Yeah. But they never reached out, but they took pictures and I don't know where those pictures they were supposed to send. And that's what it was. It was on their phone. But anyway, yeah. these guys, the thing, the interesting story about these guys, NF, NF is famous. He's, he's huge. And uh, there are, he's like a singer slash rapper. And so you might hear his song and go, Oh, I've heard that song. But Tom McDonald is kind of just recently, do you hear the guitar? Yeah. Did you hear that? That's that goddamn cat. Captain Space Pants. I swear it knows how to, it, it likes to, it's, it, he's trying. Anyway, come on, you're alive, do it. So Tom McDonald is this guy out of Canada that used to be a wrestler up there. Apparently, they had their own wrestling circuits up there, too. They, he was rattling off guys' names that I never even heard of, but a couple yeah. American guys were up on their tour. And he used to be a wrestler, started to, to start rap songs. And what's cool about this guy is he's not politically correct at all, which is what was really appealing to me about him because he speaks truth. And his songs are like, screw you. It's the truth. <laughs> so I am, I have been harassing him to come live on the big daddy road show and he was just on outlaw morgan's show yeah and i hope i get to talk to this guy because he he has a look that a lot of people would i know would go oh my god that guy scares me but i've seen him in enough interviews he's a cool young man he's got tattoos on his face but more importantly he's a good writer and good rapping even if you're not into rap bruno the, the better rap artists, if you were to take the music away and just look at the words, it's just good writing. It's it's like their poetry. It's their life. And this this NF character, which a lot of younger people watch in my show. I know we have people starting to watch my show and the, they're, they're like in the late 20s and early 30s. They know NF. That guy's a good writer. So guys like my favorite, Biggie Smalls, who, who's no longer with us. But that's about it for me with rap. But this... This Tom McDonald, I'm I'm making a prediction. Stratosphere. This kid's gonna begin the stratosphere. Cool. So let's see what else. Um, yeah, so we gotta shake it up. 
September, we start the new the new season. I'm going until the end of January, Bruno. If I don't continue my show, I will ship that coffee maker back to you because I feel it's bullshit. <laughs> but I really, You're you know, it's coffee. just getting where if I don't sell properties or so, like if I, I am so working hard every day trying to figure out how to do this online marketing affiliate stuff. I have traffic. If I can get the product that people are buying, I'll be fine. But that right. internet stuff, you know, I want to start selling master plans. Do you ever see these things on your sponsored ads on Facebook where everybody's selling a master plan? You and me got to start coming up with some master plans and selling them. Exactly. <laughs> because these guys are making so much money selling master plans. <laughs> and I'm going, if you're making so much money with what you're teaching, why are you selling master plans? I think they're full of shit, Bruno. It's just a theory. That's right. All right, brother. So what else? And then you'll say your goodbyes. Are you, you, everything's got to be $19.95. It's under $20, people buy it. You know what? I, I, I actually might start doing my master plan on starting out in the wedding photography business because I am good at that. I know that business. My back won't allow me to do it anymore, even holding the cameras and leaning and climbing ladders. I can't do it. Or I would be doing it, making good money. Right. But I sold on eBay. This is a true story. My friends, we were playing poker, and they said, you can't make money on eBay. And I'm like, I can make money. This is so weird. Today, I'm struggling to make a few bucks. Back then, I'm like, I can make money anywhere. That was my attitude, right? So I put together and wrote 50 tips for starting in the wedding photography business. And I charged $34.99. And I put on there that I'll even give you like a half hour telephone call. You can ask me more questions than the information I gave you. Bruno, I swear to God, I was putting that ad on eBay. On It took me a while to figure out where to put it. I would put it in information. I got no sales. Yeah. When I put it in under used camera equipment, like used professional level camera equipment, I was getting seven to nine money orders. This is back in the beginning now when eBay just started. Every time I put the the, the post up, seven to nine money orders for $34.99. All I had to do was copy the papers. It was like 45 papers printed, and I gave them the CD-ROM. Yeah. I got one person to call me, and I never got a negative check mark for my information. Not one. But then eBay... Shut me down. Everybody shuts Big Daddy down. You know what they told me? You got to put it in information. You can't put it. It's not a product. It's not a used lens. It's not. I said, folks, you don't understand. These young kids are looking to save money buying a used lens. They're not going for information in your. Inf- they're not looking at the information section. Yeah. So I was I was uh, kind of complaining with e- uh, eBay about what what do you guys care? You're getting your commission. I'm getting my money. You're getting your money. You know, if it was a backroom deal behind the bar, we'd have no problem here. We'd all be making money. Everybody would be happy. <laughs> but these corporations don't know how to do it. <laughs> anyway, Bruno, I swear to God, let's do a master plan. Let's do a master plan for photography slash selling homes at the lakefront property. Real estate. Yeah. Exactly. Real estate. How to do it. And we'll do that. So anyway, uh, right. thanks for coming live and explaining it, helping me explain what this show is all about. Hopefully we'll get some of the old guard that aren't, you know, the goofballs back. And we'll have some fun. Let's have some fun. Good. Here's have Captain Space Pants ending the show. Have a good night. I'll talk to you. Ca- <laughs> all right, Uncle Bruno, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Take care. Talk to you later. And give me those links. Let me know what uh, Kevin's doing and, and promote his shirts and stuff on the page. I, it's not. Okay. All right. Cool. All, right. All right. Talk to you later. Uncle Bruno's getting tired. And that was Uncle Bruno. And uh, Uncle Bruno knows all the hot shows on the internet. Uh, go check out Freddie the Fireman. Go check out Kevin. Uh, go check out these new cats that are in a band from the Poconos. So we got to figure it out. Figure it out. We'll figure it out. So let's see. What do you have from eBay? What do you have from eBay? And what? Oh, cats. Cat scratch fever is more like uh, this cat. But um, anyway, so this is my idea because a lot of people say, well, are you going to do your like, you know, you know, I come random, you know, I'm in the mood to bullshit. We just come live and see who's live, who wants to come live. 
And I'm just checking my messages, see if anybody else wants to come. But here's the thing. I got the new YouTube channel. So the, the old YouTube channel had some subscribers. I'm not going to lie. It was about 50. It wasn't a million. But now I'm starting over. So if all my friends wouldn't mind, just uh, looking for the, the post that John was so nice to write a nice piece and post on it with the mask, you know, the blue BDRS uh, robot mask. If you could hit that and please um, share the new YouTube, because every one of our shows, at least the ones that are serious, like this one and the, and the prepared shows, like Friday Night Free For All, Big Daddy, uh, Real Talk with Big Daddy, uh, this one, Random Chat Live, these are all going to go on the new YouTube. And once we hit so many hours and subscribers, um, you know, I don't know, John and all you techies, Matthew, something happens with the algorithms and then all of a sudden it opens up and more people. So without, it's up to you guys. If we can get the help and shares, um, that would help tremendously. Um, I asked number 32 Speed Racer on. Nope, he's in the pits. He's, he was out for tonight. Um, I asked um, Kevin Sockwell from uh, The Grind. You know, he was he gets up with the chickens in the morning, so we'll have to try and catch him at a different time. But this show, you pick the topics. I'll pick a few topics, and we'll just talk about it. I'll either talk directly to the people in the chat down below, or I'll talk to myself. Sometimes I just want to come live and rant. But, um, yeah, I don't even know, guys. Is eBay still a thing? I guess it is. I, I swear I don't know. I haven't been on eBay in years. And that did tick me off because it was something to go. It was pretty cool to sell your information and get seven to nine people sending you. That was back when they had to do money orders. Now we get seven to nine. And to this day, I still can't find one of those CD-ROMs or those 40 pages printed. But I know they're back in that studio. Because I often think that's what I should do, right, John? That's what I should do. Here's the website for, uh, oh, here's the Bikers uh, Against Bullies. Yeah, so there's that link. And Bruno will put the rest of the links we talked about. Put the link up for that band and let them know we're talking about them. That's how the word gets out there. Um, but, yeah, typical, typical open mic show. Random chat live. Part of the Big Daddy Road Show. Get the word out. Get us some topics. And if you know somebody interesting that you'd like to see me interview, or if you think they need to get their story out there and nobody else is listening, um, get with me. I have a young kid coming on. Um, his name is River. Let me just make sure I'm saying his name right. River Lewis. And that that was a referral. When you hear his story, it's a good, it's a good human interest story. Uh, Stephanie. I can't say her last name. <laughs> Stephanie Taylor is her name, but I don't know what she's going to go by. She was recently married and ah, it's just about um, different people selling books. She doesn't know what she's going to go by, whether it's going to be her maiden name. But uh, this young lady's going to come on and talk about um, um, service animals, the people that are, you know, have uh, Whatever their, their health issue is, there's different types of service animals for different situations. If you have PTSDs, if you're blind, and this young lady knows her stuff, and she's going to, here's the link for, uh, she's going to come and talk all, all about these, all the different types of service dogs and what what they're, what they entail and all that. It's going to be an interesting show. See, she said she can talk for hours about it. So. Here's the link for the band. The is it called the T Crew or the It Crew? I don't know if my no the It Crew. So Facebook.com forward slash the It Crew, and then a bunch of numbers. I don't think you need those numbers, so you can probably copy and paste. But uh, go tell them you heard about us talking about them on the Big Daddy Road Show. So yeah, this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be up, I think, tomorrow with report number four on the CBD oil. I am literally just due for my CBD oil. I, I'm not just saying this. And I haven't been doing squat thrusts or anything. Remember, last month I laid flat for damn near 80% of the month. So this was just one of my attempts. On the 23rd, I go to a whole new set of doctors. I come up with a whole new plan. 
my therapist has a recommendation for you ready for this john poor john's going for surgery too i was told to ask if i'm a candidate for micro i guess it's just micro surgery apparently the new thing is they can like for guys like me they might be able to just go in with a small incision oh no it's called micro Dissectomy, micro dissectomy. That sounds like they're pulling something out. And that's what I always thought that there was something wrong with my discs, that maybe there was a, a crack in one. And if they could just go, because it's only when I go certain angles, it's crazy. But yeah, there's the paper. So on the 23rd, I'm going to do that. But this must be helping with the inflammation. But it's not just the, the back pain. It's, it's an overall good feeling, a calm feeling. You're not high. Trust me, Big Daddy knows about being high. But this is just one version. And now I'm researching about even different companies where you can get this an even higher, more potent. Same thing, but more potent. So I've been rubbing this oil right directly on the muscle, and I'm taking the drops. And I'm quickly going to show you how easy that is. And that was 10 drops, and this stuff goes far. It's expensive. But this, this bottle, you have to look up in the light. This bottle has a lot in it, and I've been putting two or three drops and rubbing the oil directly on the muscle. They sell different products, too, every kind of CBD oil product. But you could just take this oil that's in the other creams for your muscle pain and just rub the oil right on directly. So I've been doing that. So that's something tomorrow. Report number four, and I'm going to start working on the duck pond. Because the duck ponds have been leaking and it's been driving me crazy. I haven't even planted one flower in my garden this summer. The only flowers I have are the ones that come up every year. And yeah, I have a her I have herniated disc. I have a bulging L3, 4, and 5. So between 3 and 4 and between 4 and 5. This we know from the MRIs. But this is the first thing that's just, even with the damp because it's been so damp the last couple days. John, you know, you're on generator power. This rain is ridiculous. Trees are down. Roads are blocked. Roads are disintegrating from all this dampness Pennsylvania has been having this year. It's crazy. But uh, usually when you have the dampness, right, John, you got the pain too. It goes with it. So, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I've never heard of micro... Any, I've never heard of anything, but that's actually what I waited for was the technology to get better because my spinal just, uh, people could joke about my spine or say I look fine. There's nothing fine about my spine. There's nothing fine about my spine. That sounds like a rap song. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So I'm hoping that they can do something that's not too ev invasive and hope we can get something going because I'd love to get back to work. I actually miss taking pictures. I really do. I have two degrees in it, one from Temple University and one from uh, Antonelli School of Art. And I did do it for quite a few years and was booked three years in advance. And I just finally just said I can't do it. So I stopped and I never really looked back. But it's really weird. I guess I'm getting older. I really would, even if I did something completely different, like if I worked in modeling or something or went to New York City and photographed things. I wish I could put that heavy gear around my neck again, back like when I was in high school and all through my early, you know, 20 some years of professional photography. But uh, yeah, okay, you got acute COPD. You know, I wonder if CBD oil helps you with stuff like that, John. I wonder, I don't know, but I'm doing a lot of research on that. So, hey, John, reach out to uh, to me after the show. We'll talk about that right and whatnot. and. Um, I'm going to shut it down because I don't want these videos too long. This is the new Random Chat Live on Big Daddy Roadshow. I'm, I'm asking you guys to share the show, hit the like buttons, and also go to the link below. We'll put it maybe, uh, John, could you find that link? Put that link to the YouTube channel. We, uh, we're up to six or seven subscribers. Also, we do have a Patreon account. The guy from the FBI, within a couple of days, gets $250,000, and he got, he got canned. He was canned from his job. And I don't want any kind of money like that. But if you can afford a buck or two, we're on Patreon. I'll put the link for that, too. Every little bit helps. 
And uh, let me see. I just want to make sure there wasn't something. There wasn't something I wanted to get up. Nope. Nope. That's pretty much it. So it's up to you. If you help us get around the World Wide Web, you see we are, we're in connection with some other shows that are really good. Um, let's keep networking. Let's keep uh, getting the word out there. And this is just a, a random open mic. So this is your chance. This is the show. If you want to just come live and talk about anything, five minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, just like we were just talking about the different topics we just talked about. Random chat live with the Big Daddy Road Show. And that's it, guys. And uh, I guess I'll see you next time. This is Big Daddy. Thanks for being active in the chat. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow with report number four of my experience with cannabis, CBD oil. Um, actually, it's not. It's hemp. Sorry. See, I just misspoke. Hemp. It's not. You're not going to get high with this stuff. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.